Gary Stein, along with the head coach of Stevenson Football, Ed Hoddle. A lot to unpack here in the postgame, Coach. Big win over FDU Florham, 20-7 to the final. Let's just talk about the defense in general. This was a high-powered offense coming in. You guys did a really good job of shutting them down. Yeah, they're, I mean, they're much, much improved. Um, you know, even even from last year, I thought they were pretty dynamic last year. You know, they, they've got a running back now that, you know, he, he's, he's tough. And, you know, they got a fifth-year senior receiver and a you know, sophomore quarterback that, that, I mean, he's – he runs for 100 yards a game, and and you know so coming in, you know we spent a lot of time, you know Coach Hollings, Coach Jones, myself, um, you know building a game plan to kind of limit some of those opportunities, and you know the guys went out and executed it at a very very high level today. I mean I could name names here, and we can stand here for the next 30 minutes and do that. Um, so I don't necessarily want to do that, but just collectively, I thought you guys got good pressure up the middle, but you also held the edges. It looked like, and I know one of your saying is is just just do your job. It just seemed like everybody was stayed in their lanes and did their job today. Well, and we talked about that a great deal. Um, you know, do do your job and, you know, the, the plays will come to us. And, you know, again, hats off, you know, to, to I think we played – seven or eight different defensive linemen today. We had linebackers coming down, putting their hand in the dirt, playing some some rush end stuff in, in our SWAT package. And, you know, but again, right, like you could talk about that D-line group all you want, but you know, secondary, I mean, those guys were, were pretty lights out all day. Speaking of plays, yards after the catch is a, is a stat that doesn't, get looked at a lot sometimes, maybe by the coaching staff it does, but today, three big plays, all big yards after the catch, two of them on offense led to red zone touchdowns, and the last one was booze for the touchdown. Just talk about your ability to break tackles and be playing space today offensively. Well, I, I think what you saw today is you know, a result. When, you, when you're able to break tackles, it, it, you, know, you, you don't have to look real far. You look in the weight room, and you know, booze has been a guy that's, that's – you know, the weight room guy and um, you know, the ability to do that, it isn't necessarily a skill or an ability, but it's a, it's a strength issue. And, you know, I love to see those guys breaking tackles and, 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 you know, getting the, the yards after catch. It's, it's awesome to watch. So EJ Marquez apparently now is the number one back, not, not a lot of yards uh, on the ground today, just like last week against Lycoming, but kept the drives alive, kept, kept the clock running, et cetera. And uh, he seems to be getting into that groove. Yeah, I mean, their D-line is phenomenal. Um, number six is, you know, he's an All-American. Um, it seems like every week we're seeing another All-American defensive lineman. I mean, he's incredibly disruptive, and um, hats off to him. He, you know, I, I actually talked to him after the game and asked him if he was coming back, and he said, no, he was done. I was like, thanks, man. <laughs> Appreciate that. Um, yeah, but I, I think it's still going to be, you know, playing the hot hand, you know, at, at that running back spot and um, watching the young guys continue to grow and, and, you know, still relying on, you know, the two upperclassmen and it's going to be key for us in the next two weeks. So October football is now, well, we still have one more game in October, but it's turning into November football. It's that time of the year now where the playoff, well, not playoffs, but the uh, you know po postseason, et cetera. You guys are in pretty good position right now. What's the message the next two weeks? What are you looking to do? Well, you know, Monday, it'll be about Monday. You know, it's about getting better. Um, you know, it's, it's a one day at a time kind of approach. Um, you know, we've got, I think we, what you saw today in some respects was a tired football team. Um, you know, we've played eight in a row. Um, we, we didn't have a bye week. And, and look, you know, it's probably crying in my beer a little bit. You know, it'd be nice to have a bye week, but we haven't had one. And, um, you know, we've been on the road the last two weeks, long overnight trips, got another long overnight trip to play another tough football team on Saturday. So, you know, we've got to manage that a little bit. But the focus is, you know, it's it's one day at a time, um, one practice at a time, one meeting at a time, and, and focusing on being the best football team we can be every week. Final score again is Stevenson 20, FDU Florham 7. He's Ed Hoddle, head coach of Stevenson football, right here on GoMustangSports.tv.